Hey folks, it's Jared Mananin from the website TahoeTrailGuide.com. Well, today I'm just doing a little lollygagging through the forest here, looking for some favorable snow and some favorable angles to maybe go down. I didn't have very high hopes because we haven't gotten any fresh snow lately and it's probably as you can hear a little bit crusty on top so we'll see how far I go and if I decide to brave the hills. This little aspect of the forest is pretty cool because it has a bunch of these red fir trees and for whatever reason, the wolf lichen tends to grow pretty prolific on these red fir trees. And I've seen it in other aspects of Tahoe forests. It's kind of an interesting story. From what I understand anyway, wolf lichen is named for wolves because it was used by farmers and hunters. They would dry the lichen out turn it into a powder and then sprinkle it on a dead carcass and then when the wolves would eat the carcass they would get poisoned by that wolf lichen so pretty dark and creepy tales behind this beautiful lichen but you know it is what it is oh and a word of caution if you find yourself at Lake Tahoe or anywhere where wolf lichen grows prevalently and you have a dog, don't play fetch with a stick that has wolf lichen on it with your dog because clearly it's uh, gonna be bad for its health. And interestingly enough, I did not even plan to talk about wolf lichen and uh, wearing this jacket. Just kind of happened that way. Attack of the crust. So far to go with regard to downhilling anyway and probably a few other things in my life but nothing ventured nothing gained I come out find a couple hills to go play on like I was a kid and you know it's good but it's getting a little bit dark so I'm gonna head back yeah a little bit of mix of sugar and ice all this crusty stuff here That's just from all the snow that melts out of the trees and falls right next to them. So it's the absolute worst when you end up hitting it because it's just a layer of ice on top of the relatively soft snow and makes for challenging conditions. But I did find a couple of cool little angles up there that had some relatively soft snow. 
Now I just have to get some good downhill technique to go with that snow. Crunch, crust. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out TahoeTrailGuide.com and if you have any questions or feedback, I know a lot of downhillers out there that could probably give me more than I could ever hope for as far as feedback goes, but uh, yeah, I don't mind at all. So. <laughs> I'll see you later. GoPro, stop recording.